Many Kenyans have been hugely expectant that the arrival of the most powerful man on earth will tilt their ordinary activities. But the government has allayed commotion fears saying Obama's time in Kenya will pass out as usual. Jomo Kenyatta International Airport is not shutting down for long periods of time due to the president's arrival or departure. Though schedules may shift, commercial planes will continue to fly. For these reasons, theater spokesperson Manu Isipisu sought to underscore the fact that routine activities will continue. The enormity of the visit had forced a number of members of the public to imagine that normal phone call operations might experience absolute interruptions, an impression the American ambassador Bob Kodak flatly dismissed. We do not anticipate that there will be major disruption in cell phone service because of the visit, as there have been some reports, but there will not be a major disruption of cell phone service. Kodak, however, advised Nairobi residents to look out for updates on the timings of road closures in order to plan ahead, even as SCP sought to alleviate fears that some city roads will be off limits in totality. Eric Biagon reporting for Channel One News.